This is George from iTech Legion. Recently, NVIDIA released the GTX 700 series of GPUs, starting with the 780 and the 770. The last release, uh, at least according to NVIDIA, in the 700 series is going to be the 760. The 760 is going to take the place of the 660 Ti and slot in between the 660, which is going to stay current, and the 770. The 760 comes to market with 1152 CUDA cores in 6 SMX units using the GK104 GPU. 4 64-bit memory controller for a total 256-bit uh, memory controller, and 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Base clock of 980 MHz with a boost clock of 1033 MHz. Also, it's using GPU Boost 2, uh, which is going to give a little bit better control as far as heat. Uh, you're not going to experience as much in the way of throttling down due to heat, and you're going to have, like I say, a bit more control when you're overclocking. Of course, in addition to reference cards, we are see, going to see um, quite a few come out from other manufacturers, uh, and one of the first uh, to market is going to be Gigabyte, and today we're going to take a look at the Gigabyte GTX 760. Taking the first look at the Gigabyte GTX 760, the most noticeable change that you're going to see from the reference design, uh, at least physically, is going to be the cooling system. Uh, Gigabyte is using their WinForce 3X, three fans, very slim fans, as you can see, um, over a very, very generous heatsink, two large heatsinks, as you can see, with three 8mm heat pipes. Uh, looking in there, you can get uh, just a glimpse of the heat pipes down there. They are direct touch heat pipes. Also, it's using Gigabyte's new um, patent applied for triangle cool technology, which actually the center of this uh, fin array right here is actually a triangle shape. It results in better heat dissipation and less air turbulence. So you're gonna get better cooling, less noise. Now, of course, um, Heat is always an issue with GPU boost and throttling. Not as much of an issue with GPU uh, boost too, but it is still going to be an issue. So it's good to see that Gigabyte has you covered uh, as far as the cooling with a very nice cooler. And of course, it's gonna be very quiet as we've seen from Gigabyte in the past. Uh, moving on, take a look. Gigabyte did not use a backplate. It is not a reference board. It is a Gigabyte design board. Upgraded Japanese capacitors, of course. Um, upgraded VRM. But they uh, no backplate, like I say, but they did actually add a support along the side, nice strong steel support. Very, very difficult to bend. You're not going to get any flex, uh, much less problems with micro fracturing and the uh, resulting uh, problems you have with it. So, over here, power input 1 6 pin, 1 8 pin, 500 watt uh, power supply is recommended, two SLI connectors, PCI Express 3.0. Looking around the back, DVI-D, DVI-I, DisplayPort, and HDMI. It is audio over HDMI as well. Now, uh, what you do not see here, and is not physical, this is an overclocked card. Uh, Gigabyte has taken the base clock from 980 to 1085 megahertz, and the boost clock all the way up to 1150 megahertz from 1033. So you're going to get a substantial boost in performance as well as excellent cooling and a very quiet experience from the Gigabyte card. In terms of accessories, first thing out of the box, graphics quick guide, uh, very simple installation guide, and a uh, small troubleshooting section. Two 4-pin Molex, two PCI Express connectors, one 6-pin, one 8-pin, and finally, graphics drivers as well as OC Guru 2. OC Guru 2 uh, is a great monitoring program, also very, very flexible for overclocking and fan control of the Gigabyte um, NVIDIA cards. Uh, we've seen in the past really very powerful program. One of the nicest things about it is it can actually up, uh, update your BIOS in your card right from within the program. Also monitors your drivers, keeps them up to date as well. So very powerful monitoring program. Uh, also great for overclocking, like I say, but more importantly, really does a nice job with being able to upgrade the BIOS.
So taking a look at the benchmarks, we saw that the 760 uh, at 249 is just an incredible platform in and of itself. Uh, the performance that we're seeing there is far uh, well above what we would have anticipated from a $249 card. Now for a mere $10 more, a gigabyte has taken that and really upped the ante. Uh, you've got a much better cooling system, much quieter cooling system. We experience absolutely no throttling whatsoever uh, due to thermals or for any other reason for that matter. And with the built-in factory overclock, we saw increased performance in absolutely every test over the reference card. Uh, Gigabyte has really gone above and beyond with the GTX 760. Uh, also a very nice looking card. Um, side with the um, steel brace across side with the Gigabyte logo and that very, very nice looking Winfor Shroud on it makes a great looking card in the case. So, Gigabyte has really uh, taken it one step further with the GTX 760 and is definitely worthy of an editor's choice.